time to ferminate the wolf. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Ferminating your wolf is beautiful. Because then they should less in the house. You don't want any blankets? I mean, look at that. You press this button and it releases. My puppy, his name is Cruz. My husband actually named him. Yeah. Everybody thinks he's a German Shepherd Husky mix, which he is not. He's a Norwegian elk hound, 100%. And then he actually really likes to be ferminated. It's like a massage. Look at that. He gets these clumps on his butt where it almost looks like his hair is being separated. We call it his wings. As you can see right now, the brush is grooming all the way through. He has no knots. He actually loves this kind of weather. It's like 25 degrees. <laughs> I'm sure all those husky people out there and long haired dogs are like, that's nothing. We have to ferminate crews at least twice a week. All right, we're gonna switch sides now. Look at all that hair. Gonna switch sides, Cruzy. Yeah, he just sits there. He loves it. He's a good boy, huh, Cruzy? You good boy? See those clumps down there? Gotta get those. You never want to ferminate them going this way. Never. Always down. The closest you want to get so their face for ferminating is right at the mane. Never get any closer. Cause then his hair gets a little bit thinner up towards his face. Never ferminate him when he's wet. If he just got groomed, thank you Cruz. Gotta wait till he's fully dry. But you can ask the groomer to permanent your pooches. I like to do it about a week after he's been blown out. Cruise stay. Thank you. Hold on, wait. Almost done. Stay. Look at that pretty coat. Yeah. All done. Cruz. Hi, baby. Look at that clean coat. <laughs>